A year ago, I released this video, which was hugely successful, gaining 23,000 views, which is a lot for my channel. Then I sort of left it, but I did notice, although the concept made it appealing, it wasn't a very good video. So this is the remastered version covering everything in the JoJo Stands mod. I will also be doing a Q&A section where I answer your question that you put in the last video. Now, if you have seen the first video, don't worry, there's tons of uncovered stuff in the video, so it's not just going to be the same things again. And also, I left timestamps just in case you want to see just the stands or just the Q&A, so uh, be sure to check that out. And this should be obvious, but the mod I'm doing the review on does contain spoilers for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so if you don't want spoilers for part 1 to 5, I suggest coming back after you've watched it. Anyways, enjoy the video. Homon is the first of the two classes you have access to in this mod, and there are only seven weapons in this class. The ability itself is kind of cool because you get to charge your Homon and it's somewhat like the key charge ability from the Dragon Ball Z mod video I made a bit ago, which you should check out if you haven't already. <coughs> Shameless plug. The first weapon, just named Harmon, can be crafted with 25% droplet. Its overall damage is pretty good, especially for its low crafting cost. It can also heal you, but it's not that good. Next is Clackers, which is really easy to craft, but aren't very good in my opinion as the projectile is small and functions like a boomerang, giving you a low DPS. But overall, it could be a lot worse. The Soapy Glove is my favorite Harmon weapon, as it's got high DPS as well as controllable projectiles. Harmon Cola is probably the cheapest item in this mod as long as you find honey. It's pretty important because it gives you a speed and regen buff as well as 75 health and 10 harm on. As a weapon it's not great but 34 damage is still quite a bit for its cost. Next is Harmon Vino which is a bit more expensive than the Harmon Cola but it gives better buffs as well as a higher damaging projectile. Harmon Tequila is the best Harmon infused beverage with amazing buffs and heals as well as 57 base damage. Its only downside is that it requires Ikor Icor. Or, or Cursed Flames. This means you'll have to get into hard mode to get this item. The quote unquote best weapon for Harmon is the Steel Balls, which is just confusing for me because if you know JoJo's, you'll also know that the Steel Balls require the spin technique, which is a lot different from Harmon. But aside from that, the Steel Balls are pretty good with high damage, a low cost, and a decent throw speed. You can also throw two at a time. There are three unique NPCs in this mod, which are Poochie the Priest, Jotaro the Marine Biologist, and Roro no a and Darby the Gambler. Poochie will sell you most of the stands in their tier 1 state, and he spawns when you enter hard mode. Jotaro works sort of like a guide for the mod's in-game mechanics. He also gives you the Arrow Shard, which can be used to give you possibly your first stand. He can spawn in a house the second you place available housing. Darby sells the turret table, which boosts stand damage by 10%, the poker chip, which revives you for a minute, and the pack of cards, a simple ranged weapon that needs no ammo. He also allows you to gamble for extra money, which consists of three games, a simpler poker, a dice game, and rock, paper, scissors. If you're playing the poker or dice game, he can cheat by getting 666 in the dice game and getting two tens in the poker. If you catch him cheating, you can accuse him, which will automatically win you the game. Darby only spawns in hard mode when there's four or more NPCs already living in the world. There are a good couple of accessories in this mod. There are six amulets, which are upgraded to their greater versions after killing the mech bosses. Then those amulets can be combined to make the amulets of serving, adapting, and manipulation. These three can then be combined with five viral meteorite bars and five of any of the four lunar fragments to make the awakened amulet. This is the most important accessory in this mod. There are two emblems in this mod, the Stand Emblem and the Harmon Emblem, giving a 15% damage boost to their respective abilities. There is a Stone Mask, which can be crafted after defeating Skeletron Prime, giving you a 2 times booster to most of your stats, fall damage immunity, and lifesteal. However, you take damage from the sun being out, and you have no life regen. Your Harmon is also set to zero and cannot be regenerated, and you have lower defense. Then there is the Red Stone of Aja, which is crafted with a large ruby 
Ruby and a Sunstone. Equipping this will give you water walking and an increase to your Harmon bar regeneration, Harmon damage and max Harmon charge. There is also the Aja Stone Mask which can be crafted by combining the two of these together. This turns you into the ultimate being, boosting your health by 100, doubling your damage and giving extra health regen. The only disadvantages are that you die in space if the hidden references option is turned on and you don't have lifesteal, but at least you no longer take damage from the sun. Hi, what's the mod called that you use to get all the stands and spawn the bosses? I use the Heroes mod, which you can find pretty much by just searching Heroes into your Terraria T-Mod Loader mod browser. No, seriously, how do I summon my stand? You have to set up hotkeys in the menu, but it should automatically be set to G. Do you have links for the mods? I can't find them, frowny face. Despite the fact that you did the frowny guide the wrong way around, I'll still show you. First, you want to click the link in the description and it will take you to the forum, and then you scroll down and click this mega button right here. Then you can download the files. Or there is also an easier way, launch Tmod Loader and in the mod browser look for Jojo and it's this one by another guy. Also you might want to download the sounds which work with the mod to make it more fun. Okay one more, BenJ1710 underscore asks, does this mod still get updates? Unfortunately I don't think so, but hopefully the developer comes back to the mod. Altogether, there are 21 stands in this mod and they can be acquired by purchasing them from Poochie, getting one from the arrow shard that Jodoro gives you, or by using a stand arrow with a 55% chance of gaining a stand and a 45% chance of dying and losing the arrow. You also have a small chance of inheriting a stand when creating a new character. Also, it's important to know that there are tiers and to upgrade them you will need a remix table. Their abilities are all for different purposes so I will not go into too much depth with each individual stand. I will rank them however from worst to best. Starting off with part 3. Now part 3 has 4 stands, Star Platinum, The World, Hierophant Green and Magician's Red. Star Platinum and The World are pretty much the same stand. This also means that while The World focuses more on its time stop, with a max time stop being 9 seconds long, where you can use a road roller, also known as probably the most busted ability in this entire mod. Star Platinum is more about its raw damage output, so its damage is higher but his overall abilities are worse with a 4 second time stop and no road roller type of attack. So Star Platinum gets an A and the world gets an S. Hierophant Green is great, he's got high DPS, lots of projectiles and if you prepare the right way with the Tendril Tripwire and 30 meter Emerald Splash, I definitely recommend him for something like the mech bosses and even Plantera and Golem as most of your projectiles will hit dealing devastating damage. So Hierophant Green in my opinion is an another S. Magician's Red is pretty good but I think it could have been a little better. His primary attack, Framing Ankh, is pretty good. It does moderately high damage and inflicts the on-fire debuff. Red Bind, his secondary ability, is good as it can immobilize enemies. And Crossfire Hurricane is pretty good, but the cooldown is a little long for how little damage it does. So Magician's Red, all together, I'm gonna put him in a B. Right, moving on to Part 4 stands. Part 4 only has 3 stands. The first part 4 stand, the lock, is not really that great as it doesn't do any damage except for when enemies hit you and even then the actual damage is not very good. So the lock in my opinion gets an E. The hand is quite mediocre as its primary move, a basic barrage, is its best move and the hand erasure just sucks. The only thing that sort of redeems it is I can see it being used for mobility with its erase the air ability. So the hand gets a C. Killer Queen is the best part 4 stand and it has two versions. The basic Killer Queen has a barrage, it can place bombs and its special is sheer heart attack. These are all pretty good however you can upgrade it once more giving you the bite the dust ability. This unfortunately removes your barrage and replaces it with a straight cat bomb which is quite slow and you can no longer place bombs or activate sheer heart attack therefore it gets two different ratings as I consider them to be almost completely different. Regular Killer Queen in my opinion is probably a lot better uh, so I'm gonna give it an A. Killer Queen Bites the Dust has a really cool concept but unfortunately because of the long cooldown of Bites the Dust I'm going to have to give it a C.
Part 5 has the most stands in this mod with 8 stands counting Golden Experience, Golden Experience Requiem, King Crimson, Dolly Dagger, Sex Pistols, Sticky Fingers, Aerosmiths and The Grateful Dead. Now Golden Experience and Golden Experience Requiem are very similar. Golden Experience has 4 specials and they are as follows. A frog that reflects a small bit of damage, a tree that damages anything that touches it, a butterfly that doubles the enemy's loot chance if they touch it, and limb creation giving you 30 to 50 health back. GER is a a little different as you lose your butterfly and frog ability but gain a better tree ability, a better lame creation, a death loop which kills your enemy 9 times and uh, 3 times for bosses, this will drop their loot so it's very useful, and revert to zero which will revert anything uh, back to where they were before the ability activated and it will also stun lock them. Golden Experience therefore gets a B, and I think Golden Experience Requiem just for the death loop ability deserves to be in an S rank. Next is King Crimson who has a slow punch rate with high damage, a time skip in which he is immune to all types of damage but can still punch and after it will confuse its targets. Epitaph is its other ability which allows you to see your opponent's next moves which isn't too great but there are a few instances where it could be useful. So King Crimson gets an overall B. Next is Dolly Dagger which I think is a pretty good stand if you don't want to focus on your stand but rather another class. It has free abilities. As an item you can either stab the enemies or yourself which reflects the damage onto enemies near Nearby. However, as a stand, it can reflect 35% of damage dealt to you in tier 1 and 70% in its second tier. So therefore, I think Dolly Dagger deserves an A. Sex Pistols is the ranger's best friend as its main ability is pretty much chlorified bullets with a damage boost of your tier number times by 5. So, for example, tier 1 is a 5% boost to damage, but tier 4 is a 20% boost to damage. You can also force a bullet redirection with its second ability. So I think Sex Pistols deserves an A in this case. Sticky Fingers is an all-around decent stand with its main barrage not dealing a lot of damage but giving a bleeding effect of 20 health a second. It then has a zipper punch which gives it decent range but it's unfortunately not all that useful. Then it has a zipper travel ability which can move you 30 tiles in the direction of your cursor. Sadly for travel I'd stick with the hand. So Sticky Fingers gets a B. Aerosmiths is one of my personal favorites with a good range, a mega shark like fire rate at its final stage, a bomb which has high damage and high AoE and a CO2 radar which shows you where enemies are although I don't really get why that would be very useful. Altogether without the bomb and the CO2 tracker the primary gun ability still makes it very good. The only problem is you cannot move whilst using Aerosmiths which makes it plummet in its final rating. Aerosmiths is getting either a B or a C but I'll go with a B. The final part 5 stand is the Grateful Dead which is not terrible in the slightest. It has a fast barrage with high damage, a grab which rapidly ages the victim and a gas which hurts everything on the screen including you unless you consume ice cubes or equip the iced water accessory. It's also important to note that the grab can work on friendly NPCs but not on massive things like the golem's body. The Grateful Dead therefore gets an A. Now for part 6 there is only one stand which is White Snake, and White Snake is actually pretty great with a good barrage, an acid throw that hurts enemies who stand on it or if they get dripped on because it can be suspended from the ceiling. Uh, its last ability is Disc Steel which mobilizes the enemy and disables all of its attacks while you can still damage it. It also has the ability to disable other players stands so White Snake altogether is pretty good. I would put it in an A. Now part 7 technically only has two stands, Tusk and 20th Century Boy, however Tusk has four acts and they all get different abilities. Tusk Act 1 only fires nails dealing relatively low damage so I would put that in D. Tusk Act 2 gives you controllable nails which have higher damage but also might slow down your rate of fire unless you spam click it so I'm going to give it a C. Act 3 shoots stronger nails and can create wormhole nails which allows you to travel through them so I will give it a B and Act 4 is the strongest in damage but to activate it you must craft the slow dancer saddle with 5 of each of the mech boss's souls. Then you must charge your rotational energy by running with slow dancer however Act 4 is heaps better than Act 3. You can now manifest the power to infinitely rotate your enemies dealing a lot of damage until the enemy either dies or despawns. It can also punch in its auto mode which deals a lot of damage so I would put Tusk Act 4 into S tier.
And finally, the last stand in this mod is 20th Century Boy, which simply is another utility stand granting invincibility at the cost of movement speed and the use of attacks. Its second tier, however, gives a dynamite ability, which deals great knockback with a little bit of damage. This stand would be a pretty bad stand if we wouldn't be considering the ability to use Summoner's class with this as summoners doesn't actually require the host to do anything. As long as you have all of your summons summoned, you can watch as your pets shred bosses. In other words, if you want to annihilate almost every boss, go with 20th Century Boy with summoners. I say almost every boss because Moon Lord somehow bypasses that invincibility. So 20th Century Boy, I will give it a solid A. There are 9 armor sets, with 8 of them being for stands and 1 of them being for Haman, and the stand sets are pretty well done as there are 3 types for each, long range, short range and neutral. I'm going to disregard neutral because it's the worst out of the 3 of them. Long range and short range give different buffs, but short range always gives you more defense. Though I will not go through the individual buffs for all of the sets, I will quickly run through their set bonuses. Bootleg cosplay set, 10% stand damage boost, viral set, 5% damage boost, but you have more defense with the armor. Crystal set, 8% stand damage and crystal shards are released when hit. Adamantite alloy set, 10% crit chance. Titanium alloy set, become immune after striking an enemy. Chlorocyte set, plus 5% stand damage, summons a viral crystal. Phantom set, spirits around you are marked and upon death they explode. Requiem set, viral beetles float around you defending you from anything that comes your way. Now there is also the Harmon training set which gives you a 20% Harmon damage boost, increased movement speed and faster Harmon regen. There are also tons of vanity sets which can be seen here. I'm not going to go through them because they do not give any buffs whatsoever, but they do look very cool. Now before I end this video off, I just want to quickly say, no, stop. Do not click off the video. Okay, thank you. Good. Lovely. Thanks to exams, I didn't really get the chance to make this video sooner, so I'm sorry for the fornicated upload schedule. I also want to say that these exams are not yet over, so I'm not going to be uploading for a short period of time. However, I will still be around, so if you have any questions or want to say something to me, the comments are wide open. Another thing I want to quickly say is this video literally took me a month to make so if you've made it this far please do consider liking and subscribing as it really does help quite a lot but anyhow that's the rant complete for you thank you so much for watching if you did like the video please be sure to give it a like and i will see you in the next one goodbye